right. Welcome, everybody, to Tennessee Wildcast or Musical Offices. Yeah, we're all, all over the place. This is the weekly podcast of the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Jason Harmon right over here. I'm Doug Markham. Todd Mazuris is sitting right over here helping us out. And we'll introduce our guest in just a minute. Look, yeah. this show is going to tell you all about something that's important to your life if you're a sportsman because it has to do with licenses and a lot of other stuff. But you want to hear this. It's a big change coming to Tennessee. And we don't want you freaking out when you go buy your license. And there's no reason to because everything is all good. And no, we're not talking about increasing the cost of licenses at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, there's a lot going on, though. Let's tell them how they can get information from us when we're not sitting here in this studio talking to them. The best way to get the information is our website, tmwildlife.org. It is. There's tons of stuff out there, and we're always updating it. And, of course, Jason is always wanting you know, to send your stuff, your photographs, to our trophy room because this is the time of year when a lot of you are getting some trophies. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show folks at home the trophy room. It's uh, it's growing as the season is getting in full swing. We've had some entries here just recently. Uh, I seen it this morning, and I got it up there and featured on our on our trophy room. Man, oh, uh, man. Man, couple, oh, man. Uh, a father and son hunt there is the first picture you see, and they're just uh, – Happy to have two deer there. I guess that was a good morning. But uh, how do they do it though? If you want to put a photograph on tag board, uh, what, it's what real easy. Do? You just go to one of those social media sites that you see there, and if you're listening at home, it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, Pinterest, Google Plus, or Vine. You go to one of those sites and post your photo, and make sure you use the hashtag TN Trophy Room, and it'll generate to uh, to our tag board, and I can feature the. Uh, the the photos and and you can go right here and see them right here uh, from our website the the link is at the bottom that's the easiest one to get to right there under featured links a lot of stuff of right there to get to period if mm-hmm. you just scroll up that site you'll see what you need to know as we get rolling into another hunting season and uh, of course the deer season's several weeks in now and we'll remind everyone if you're one that likes to keep up with numbers you can always go out on the site and and uh, check out the uh, harvest report out there and see what's going on in your favorite county or on your favorite wildlife management area. Right. I also want to remind the youngsters or the parents of youngsters that we got a bunch of hunts that will be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, the first juvenile weekend, uh, or it's late, it's late October, I guess, is that, that hunt. Uh, you can sign up now and, and uh, hopefully get to go to the new Buffalo Ridge uh, refuge and, and go on that special hunt there. You, you did a little work out there this week. Yeah, they're, doing? they're prepping stands and getting stuff ready for – for the uh, the youth hunt, and then the women's muzzleloader hunt in November, and then they'll have the wounded soldier hunt out there. I guess that's in December. But. And you made it, you're gonna put a video out there on a Wildcast Extra coming up. Yeah, we'll throw a video on Facebook and show the guys working and see what kind of stands you'll get to hunt out of if you get drawn for the hunt. And, and maybe get all an the work idea going on. How to put up a good stand, right? Along yeah. the way, some great great stands, and that'll show you how to. I set bet that up. was fun. Is that a pretty neat property? It's awesome property. Huge, a lot of a lot of places to go and explore, and and. Uh, a lot of big deer and if you don't know what we're talking about check out all our shows we keep them out on on the various places you can find them TWA mm-hmm. tv among them and you can watch donald hossey from a few weeks ago telling you all about this area yep and a lot of other stuff that donald filled us in on for the kids and he's uh he's behind a lot of these hunts and, and gets them org- organized and gets them going and does a great job all right and if you're wondering why we're sitting in this little office kind of all tight uh, it's because TWA continues its never-ending project to put new electricity and and lights into this building, and so we've been moved out of what we call Studio B back into Studio A, and yeah. we're a little bit tight, but it's, it's comfortable, tight, hot, a little. Anyway. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, let's show our guests today. Sure. Uh, and uh, they are the best dress. We're going to give them the best dress to Yeah, wear. look at this tie over here. And, you know, <laughs> it's nice Michael May. <laughs> Michael's the chief of our information technologies, and Alicia Chasty is the chief of our revenue department, and they're both, they have to go to the legislature later today. But we like that you dressed up for us. We did it just for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Michael. <laughs> hey, we got a big thing coming up, Michael, and it, it seems like it, it almost seems kind of wonkish or, wonkish or uh, to talk about vendors. But I'm so excited about what's going on with this, and I think the sportsmen will be too. And it's not; it, it's very important to their life. What you've been working on the last you and Alicia for the last what three or four years yeah. <laughs> seems like of your lives. Give us, a, give us a brief definition of or, or understanding of what it is, and I've got some specific questions for both of you. Well, we've had... Um, you can pull it on over here. You are? Right? Okay. Yes, sir. We've had the current system up for over 15 years. So when you say system, what do you mean by that? Our licensing system. Okay, all right. So the, the online system and the where you go out to all the different license agents, like 
Walmarts and so forth, right? and you buy your license there, that whole entire system is nearly 20-year-old technology. So we were tasked uh, several years ago to go try to figure out what is the best way to move forward, new technology, online technology, new uh, hardware and all that kind of thing. So after doing a, a round-robin trip around the country several years and talking to other vendors and other states, we came up with a put an RFQ out. We got a, a great vendor called Brandt. What's an RFQ? Is that just uh, a, like a bid process? It is or a bid something? process. Okay, yeah, right. to make sure we got the best vendor out there. Okay. And I think we did. We got the best vendor out there called Brandt, and they've got a great um, application. And we're, you know, taking a look at all the different things out in different states, and we're making a um, a great online experience and a, a new system that is pretty much top of the line across the country a couple of things if, if you've ever gone i just got back from a trip to tampa florida and i had to buy a license to go so i bought their annual and the experience i bought it online was mm-hmm. really cool it was really easy and that's what we're talking about we'll get into more detail in that but the system that are the folks we're working with have the florida and the georgia systems already so they if do. you've ever bought licenses from them that's who we're working with now correct it is, and I think we're even tweaking it beyond what they've got, so it's an even more updated version. All right, well, mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be good for sportsmen, and we're going to get in uh, to the reasons why. But uh, Michael, this what we've had. I, I remember the days when I started working at TWRA. We were. It was just which was a much, long time ago. It was a long yeah. time ago. That's a point I'm about to make. Many years was, ago. Was it even called TWRA back then? <laughs> uh, barely. <laughs> the directors got me beat, but a little bit. They were anyway. slinging rocks in his time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they were also writing paper licenses back then. Right. We, this was we weren't. You had to go to a license agent and stand in line a long time, and you and you got these licenses that that uh, you stuck in your pocket. There was hardly any technology to it. There was some, of course, but then all of a sudden, about 15, 20 years ago, y'all brought us into a new world, and now we're going, we're stepping up in that world of technology. Is that pre correct? Right. And it, it, it began three years ago when we went to the mobile app and we took away the harvest uh, tag and so that we can sell licenses online. So it really began our journey then. And this is a, um, we're really moving into the future with what we're doing now. Okay. All right. Let's tell, let's do the direct thing. We, Alicia sent um, a photograph to me of what licenses are going to look like here pretty soon. When will this start, first of all? When will the sportsmen begin to notice there's a change in how they buy licenses or what they buy, what they get? It'll begin on Halloween, October 31. Uh, October 31. That's mm-hmm. easy enough to remember. And uh, Jason, is it up? What yeah, is this that good. we have? Tell us, tell us what the license they will begin seeing starting on the 31st. What will it look like? It'll be a paper license like you print on your normal computer paper, 8.5 by 11. It'll look like that if you've got that pulled up, Jason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll be a lot easier to read than the current version. It'll have all your information up there very easily read. And I'm, I'm looking over here at it. Um, and it'll have all your licenses on there. It'll have a lot of room to put all of them on there. And a lot different than what we have right now, I think. It's done. It's, it's it's done a really good job over all the years, but it's just outdated technology. This is a much better way yeah. to view it. Literally, a piece of paper like this <laughs> is what you're going to be getting, and you're. Go- mm-hmm. I think everybody's going to like it. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, it'll be emailed to you, so you can either have that piece of paper in your pocket, or you can just um, not use it and just keep the PDF version on your phone, just the electronic version on your phone, and go there. That's completely legal to use. There that. you go. We get asked that a lot. Yeah. Is it legal to have that on your telephone, on your mm-hmm. cell phone, and and and. Um, the agencies are okay. The with agency it. has really gone down that path. They're actually promoting that. All right, the eight and a half by eleven paper. I, I noticed that what Alicia sent has a couple of it's got resident big game license and resident um, com- accommodation hunting license. What if I decide to get something else? What if I decide to go get the waterfowl license or or the trout license or what are you doing? You want to take that? Here, push it on over to her, Alicia. What what would happen? Um, with each additional license, it will display every license you have already purchased that's valid. So all of your licenses will display every time you purchase an additional one. Does that mean throw away your old piece of paper and, and use the new piece of paper? Yes, you yeah. don't have to carry multiple pieces. Okay, so it is show all down there. And I know it was a lot of discussion, and either one of you on this, what about we're in deer season. What if you go out and you harvest a deer? Will this have anything to do with harvesting of deer? No, there, there's not going to be any change to that at all. You can still okay. harvest your deer online on your mobile app, or 
uh, go to a convenient agent near you. Okay, question two. We have replacement costs for when you lose licenses in Tennessee, 5 or $7, Alicia, you know, of course. But what's going to happen from there, Alicia? If, if you lose this license, will there still be a replacement cost? If the piece of paper gets wet? Um, if you choose to go into an agent, you will still pay that replacement cost. But because you do have that PDF and you can go online and access that PDF anytime that license is valid, you can reprint it as many times as you like at home for no fee. Okay. And the other question, I know I was asking you all um, off camera yesterday, if if you buy it from a licensed agent, if you go out and get this new eight and a half piece of paper from an agent and, um, and then you lose it, can you still, you can still, you don't have to go back to that agent. I think you just said we don't, but I'm making sure you can do it from the house. You can do it from the house. Anytime you have a valid license, you can print it um, at home. You can access it either through the PDF that was emailed, or you can go directly to our website and access it again. Okay. All right. What about the, the, I was going to say, hold that up there and show it to them. We showed it on the screen, but that's the example there. The exact size? That you, this camera right here. Right here. Doug, All right. Hold, let uh, Michael hold Michael it there. Michael, All right. But that's the full 8.5 by 11 example that, that you can print out and carry with you. All right. Fold it up. And, and, and you also have, I noticed you had dotted lines in there if you want to cut out just the license part, Michael, and not necessarily look at the advertising part or whatever. Yeah, you can cut it out if you wish, make it smaller. You don't have to. You can fold it up like it is. You can do anything you want to with it. It's perfectly fine, however you want to do it. We're just adding, really not taking away anything from you, just making it a lot easier. All right. There are a bunch of other good things about this. And Alicia, I want you to talk for a minute to the licensed agents themselves. Uh, and then we'll get into some of the specifics for sportsmen. But what would this mean to a licensed agent? Say you've got a business down in Wayne County somewhere, and, and uh, this is all brand new. What, what are y'all telling them? Um, this is going to be a much simpler system. Um, it'll be uh, much more user-friendly for them. They'll be able to see all of the customer's information immediately right up front. Um, they don't have to guess if their address has changed or if they have the correct customer pulled up. It's also going to make that transaction a lot easier to choose. They'll be able to see all the various licenses available all at once instead of having to um, scroll through so many screens. It will all be visible um, and it'll just be much quicker um, to process these licenses. Okay. Uh I know too. We were talking. There's uh, most your most of the, everything you're going to see is going to be the eight and a half paper, but there's still going to be that old stock out there. What we call durable stock. Will there still be some vendors out there that have this? Yes, some of our agents, um, those long-standing agents that we've had, um, still needed that durable printer because of of um, commercial space on their counters and right. whatnot. Um, and so we are providing to those to those agents that we're, we're needing to have that durable printer. We have some of those. There's about a third of our agents will have that durable printer um, stock. Okay, so the, so the question there, you go buy your license from one of those from one of those agents and then you decide I'm going to buy another license. Can you somehow go home and end up with this paper license and everything be on it? Yes. It doesn't matter where or how you purchase the license. That PDF version will be available to you the entire time that license is valid. All right. It, and will this be like our old licenses? Will the ID that we have now, we all have IDs if we buy a hunting fishing license. We are, and not just our social security, there's an ID that identifies us. Will that ID transfer over to this, over to this paper copy or over to our new system? Yes, your ID will transfer over to the new system and all valid licenses will transfer over into the new system um, at Go Live. Okay, so it's really almost seamless to the folks that are going to be buying this stuff. They're just going to see a paper copy and some of them might just, they're just wondering why. Correct. Okay, all right. It's just going to be easier, Doug. <laughs> it's just going to be easier. I like it. Let's tell them about some of the things now that you say it, it's going to be easier. There's something on, I've got a list here of, of notes I took when Brant came in and was talking to y'all. One of them was a package license sales, which I really liked. I put like exclamation parts around that. What points? What does that mean, the, the package license? Got it. Before getting into that real quick, I just want to point out, make it easy for everybody in a, to understand uh, the, the old machines were those little bitty machines that they had to key in the all the information on a little bitty keypad right. on that little bitty screen. And what we're talking about, even for the license agents and you at home, everybody is going to be on a computer screen, much like what you're interacting on any of the really top of the line um, sales inter -site, internet sites that you go to nowadays. So it's going to be that type of experience. That's why it's so much easier. It would well, make it a lot easier right. typing on a keyboard versus this, because even that little, a lot of us use that little system even at work to check in deer. 
Uh, and and it's, ar- it's archaic, but at the time it was a oh, big it was deal. Cool. Oh yeah, big deal. We were real, right? Right. Our remote, ac- easy access system or L- licensing. licensing system, right? Yeah, licensing. System. And we're keeping the name. Okay, but it's just even more real. Now, right. right? <laughs> we're, keep, we're keeping it real. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So tell me what package license is. You're going to edit that one? No. <laughs> keeping it real. No, we got to keep that in. We're there. keeping it real. What's a package license system? What What is that? Remember, package like licenses. I can't say that, but what does that mean? So w- when you log in, actually, you don't even have to log in. You go to the website, and it will be a if, very what, – What website are we talking about? To our licensing site, and you'll get there by going to tnwildlife.org, okay. and there'll sure. be a link on the front page. That's a nice plug. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So, and which our division helps put that together uh, again. We know. <laughs> so, uh, move on, move that, on. That's the reason why I know it. Um, no, just joking. So what we do is you go into that uh, licensing page, website, and from there, instead of logging in like you had to, mm-hmm. to even get in there, mm-hmm. you can go and peruse the entire site now. You don't have to log in. You can. It's like, I don't want to plug any type of uh, establishment out there, but some of the main shopping internet experiences that you have out there right now where you can go and shop online and do all your shopping prior to logging in and purchasing, that's the, the concept that we have now. So you have a shopping cart and all that kind of thing that you can plug in. So these packages will be right on the front page. I think we've got about seven. Is that correct? And uh, if you want to go out and be a sports fisherman, if you want to do, um, uh, I don't know, what um, big game hunting, big yeah. game hunting, or waterfowl, hunting, waterfowl, waterfowl, waterfowl yeah. that kind of thing. If those are the things that you want to do, you can click on that, and it'll already populate all the applicable licenses and permits that you need to have, and you don't have to think about it. All right. I mean, and, and I, we've so been if you're working get here a sportsman's for, license, this really helps. If you're not buying the right. sportsman's license, and even for us, and I can tell you, and people at home, I'm sure that they think that we know all of these things and is memorized. M- few of us have memorized all of these, and no. so I don't even remember which license we need to have. So this type is going to help me type out. Ninety five and no one mm-hmm. and all those numbers. And it's going to be yeah. that'll be the, one of the biggest things. So you just click on that, and you just go. So if I'm going to go duck hunting next year on Old Hickory WMA, and I got to have this license to draw and this one to actually hunt if I get drawn and et cetera and on and on, it's just going to be right there in a package, and I don't have to think about you it. You don't have to think about it, and those will be our um, most popular packages for the season. So those will update seasonally mm-hmm. on whichever ones that they're the most popular at that time, and you can still go through and pick the particular license you want. That's not going to be taken away from you. Okay. And then I wrote down something called profile centric too. I had to ask y'all what it was. Make perfect sense to me, but it seems it goes well with this license package in, in some ways. What is what does profile centric mean? Basically you you log in. When you log in you can do everything under one login. You don't have to uh for example, if you wanted to buy a license previously you had to log in, buy that license, and then you made that sale and then if you wanted to do something else you had to log back in again. This means Basically, when you log in, you can do all of that one-stop shop. It's a one-stop shop type of thing. Uh, you can harvest, buy a license, donate for hundreds to the hunters for the hungry. You can do all of those things under one login. Okay, that's basically what it means. Okay, can all you right. buy licenses for other folks under that login, or you have to log in as another individual for you for, really, for your son or something? Right, you'll need to log in under them. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and and one thing that went through my head and went right back out, but it's back in there again. What about the uh, what about I think it's back in there anyway. <laughs> what about the waterfowl um, stamp or the waterfowl license that the federal government makes you have to have? Rather, will it be a part of our package? Or are they still going to have to go to the post office? They'll somewhere? still have to do that. I will let the cat out of the bag a little bit. We mm-hmm. are pursuing a function with um, the federal government to be able to do an e-stamp, and we apply for that uh, right to be able to do that. Uh, we haven't gotten it yet. We're waiting for that to happen. They do that annually. They only pick a couple states a year, but we're we're trying to get that. And when that does come online, you'll be able to add that to the package, and you'll be able to hunt that day with that uh, certification that you number that you get with that. And then you'll be able to uh, just wait for your stamp to come in. Now that hasn't come out yet, but we're working on it. We're going to get into our app, our phone mm-hmm. app, more in a minute. But will all of us be working through Brant with our app? Will it eventually, or is it going to, from the beginning, work with our app? It'll be on every platform that we currently have. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you got a meaning, yes, it'll be on the app. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. And we're going to get more into that app. You'll be able minutes. to still harvest the same way. All right. All right. I'm going to go back to something y'all said a minute ago. Reiterate: if you buy a license, you will get a confirmation 
from us or from Brandt that that license has been purchased, that's going to be your proof? Correct. You can, you'll still be able to get a, um, a confirmation number. You'll get an email that comes in with that license on here or just a – if you do a harvest, it'll look just like this and, and show you that you did a harvest. That'll be the, the only difference on there. So everything will come in through an email for you if that's what you want to do, or you can just go down to the store and do it there. All right. We haven't taken away the option for you to go down to the store. Have not? No, so, not at all. If so, you're a traditionalist, keep on being a traditionalist. Absolutely. You can go down there, but you'll be getting one of these pieces of paper more than likely. Okay. All right. So just easy as it can be. Mm-hmm. What else do we need to know about that? What else should we know about what's going to happen? it's Alicia's turn to talk. Okay. <laughs> Push it over there to Alicia because we're going to talk about the app here in just a minute. Uh, Alicia, anything else that, that the license agents should know going into this? You feel like they're, they're going to be all ready to go on October the 31st all across the state? Um, I, I think we're, we're making good progress towards that. Um, we are trying to work with them. We're talking with them every day. Um, Many of them. <laughs> um, we, we are trying to communicate really effectively um, and, and really help them through this process. Um, it's going to be, I think, an easier transition than some of the people are, are afraid of. I think it's going to go um, much smoother. All right. And there's always a tr- contract associated with this. It seems like y'all have been working with, with Brant for several years now toward this great day for everyone on October 31st. How long will we be working with Brant? Was there a contract that the state worked with with them? Yes, this is a 10-year contract, so the system will will be up and running for 10 years. All right, and getting better every year, we hope, right? Yeah. All right. All right, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to the app in a minute, but while I got you, Alicia, can, I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curve in there. Not a big one, not anything you can't handle, but I want to ask you about HEN real quick, if you don't mind me asking. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a staff under you under revenue that's always doing something pertaining to licenses, but you also have a staff that has something to do with boat registration or boat numbers called HEN. What is that? And uh, give us a little explanation. Um, Well, a boat HEN is a whole ID number. Um, It's real similar to a VIN number on a car. Um, All manufacturers after 1972 were required to attach this to a vessel um, that they manufacture, and um, we were required to collect it. Unfortunately, um, what we collected was not always accurate, um, and so the Coast Guard has mandated that we correct every whole ID in our system. So we have been working for about three years um, towards this goal, and we are making good progress, but we do still have quite a few um, un- improperly formatted whole IDs in our system. What are, what, when you say improperly formatted, what does that mean? Does that mean a missing number, too many numbers? What does it mean? Um, generally, they're, they're typos. It's missing a number. Occasionally, the manufacturer put an incorrect number on, on a boat or, or put the same number on multiple vessels. Um, so we're going back and, and trying to figure out and working with our customers to get them a correctly formatted. Is this going on across the country? Does it everybody is. have a hen working for them somewhere in that whole identification number? Yes, this is a nationwide mandate by the Coast Guard. So every state is working towards this. Um, so it's going to be universal. Officers yes. go out in Florida, officers go out in California, Tennessee. They're all going to be working with us as they call in and, and check a whole number. It's all going to be the same thing. Yes. All right. And and how much longer or, or what if somebody's at sitting in their house, what would it look like if they got a letter saying they needed to respond to it? Well, they'll either get a, a salmon colored card telling them that, that it's time to renew your boat, but you need to call us and get that whole ID updated. Or when you renew your boat, you may get a letter with, with your registration st- stating that um, something was not properly formatted, and you need to go look at your boat and give us a call um, so that we can get this corrected. Is it for easy you. on the on the boater? No, not not a problem. We we try to make it as easy as possible. We will talk with them over the phone. We'll take mail. We'll take emails. We'll take texts. We will try and get this information and make it as easy for you as possible. Okay. And you told me the other day the number. What's the number you started with looking for, and what are you down to? Um, we started with over 200,000 bad hull IDs in our system. Holy. Um, we are now down to 84,000 yeah. bad bad numbers in our system. And so. those are going to work on those 84,000? Yep. So how many boats are there in Tennessee? Registered hull. I mean, I, I thought maybe 200,000 was it, but <laughs> that's just how many. So. No. Um, we have well remember. well over a million boats, I think, sure. that have been registered in wow. our system in the state of Tennessee. That's a lot of boats. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of boats. Okay. So if you mm-hmm. get a letter, it's not anything awful, just apply to it. And pretty good, folks, pretty good about getting back with you when they see the salmon um, color come in. We've gotten a really good response um, from our customers, and we're really grateful that they're um, so good to work with us. 
Okay. And hull numbers are found on on boats, of course, that have motors that are put on them, right? Or are hull numbers found on things I might not think about? Um, any manufacturer that believes a motor, even a trolling motor, is is going to be attached to that vessel, is obligated to um, put that manufacturer's hull ID number on there. And tell us what is in a hull number. What does a hull number mean? As you go across it? Um, it's a 12-digit number. The first three usually indicate the maker of the boat. Um, the last two or three usually indicate the year. Um, there's some letters and numbers all mixed up in, in the middle. Um, it's just IDs you at that point. Yeah. Okay, but the first three, you know who manufactured it, whether mm-hmm. it was a Phoenix or a Triton or whatever manufacturer you might like, and the last three is the date or four, did you say? The last two or three, two or three. depending on when it was manufactured. Did so you have an idea when your boat was actually going through that line and came mm-hmm. out on the other end? Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, good deal. Let's talk about the app, Michael. You, um, um, back in the days when I was doing a radio show, you came on to it three times, and we talked about this new innovation that TWA was also going through. Sometimes the agency is a little slower than some folks to get going on some technological things. But once we get going, we go good. And especially with you working down there in IT now, it seems like we're, we're really moving on into that world. And one of the things that you've really been proud of is the phone app, the smartphone app that we have. What's the latest with it and um, what's the future for it? We are now at about 288,000 downloads for the state. And I'm sure that that's out of state as well because we have a lot of um, people from out of state that come here and hunt and fish so more than likely nationwide so about 288,000 um, we're working on updates to it it's about three years old now and they should be coming out new license year about March it's going to streamline it there'll be um, things added to it I don't really want to talk about what they are right now. I want to make it a surprise. We'll do a whole show on that one. Okay, sure, yeah, sure. sure. And so it's going to be more streamlined, more functionality, easier to, to flow through it. Um, when we came out with it, it was top of the line. It was it was the best practice methodology of creating an app, and the, and the user experience was, was that. And now, three years later, it needs to be upgraded to keep that, that current status. And, and I think, you know, we go out to the uh, – uh, conservation Business Managers Association meetings throughout the country, and we have one of the, if not one of the leading apps out there, and we want to stay that way. Well, you've, you've done, I know you're proud of the work that your guys do and working with it, and you sure have helped bring us a long way. You and Alicia, with everything you're doing with Brand also and all the staffs that are that are there, can people, just for those who maybe never have downloaded the app, what can they do with it? Can they, can they put their harvested deer on, can they check in deer through that app? Oh, absolutely. So you can buy your license, you can renew a boat, you can harvest your deer, and uh, any of your big game on there other than bear. So you can basically deer and turkey. Well, what about Jason? Um, Go ahead. We can't harvest Jason well, on there. can't harvest Jason. <laughs> you're, you're, you've always got your mind on that app. You got yeah. any thoughts on it? I think it's great, uh, and then the improvements coming along are going to make it even better. Uh, it's great that even on Apple, Android, it, you can download it on either type of device. Um, but, yeah, it's to check in your deer and to buy your license right there on the app makes it so easy. And Okay. The features that's coming in the near future are going to make it even better. Does it cost anything to download our it's app? It's absolutely free, but it'll cost you shame if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> How many downloads have we got so far? Do so you I was remember? saying, right, over 288,000. We should probably be clearing 300,000 by the end of the year, I would suppose. And an interesting yeah. number that we were talking about, that how um, the online check-in and now the app has really changed sure. the way people uh, check in their deer. What, what percentage did you tell me a number of people that are now checking deer in online? Yeah, so between online, which is going home and doing it at your, at your computer, and mobile, we're right just under 80% of our total harvest is done through that method. Wow. Mm-hmm. That has changed uh, the dynamics of checking in deer. For somebody who started, I said, a long time ago when I can remember deer laying from one end of a pavement to the other, and now you go there and sometimes you wait all day because right. you're checking them online. <laughs> yeah, all right. Alicia, thank you. Great job. Michael, thank you. Great job. Yes, sir. Thank you. Y'all go down there and have a good time with legislature, okay? Thank you. (laughs) Good luck with that. (laughs) All right. All right. Go ahead, Jason. Hey, thanks for watching this edition of Wildcast, uh, Tennessee's Wildcast. You can find us online at tmwildlife.org, tmwildcast.com. Any way you want to get there, you can watch us on twra.tv and listen on iTunes. We're everywhere. Tell your friends about us because we tell you a lot of stuff every week and we're always out there. We'll be back next week.